Hi, my name is Guillaume Butin. I'm in charge of marketing at Prophecy. Uh, what we are showing here in this demonstration are the key differences between a frame-based traditional vision system and our event-based vision system. Essentially, what you have here is a, a rotating disk, which is in the field of view of uh, our vision system. This will drive the speed. What you have here on the left is the event-based vision system view, and on the right, a simulated frame-based vision system. So if we move around a little bit and press pause in, in here, what we can see is that on the right, this is a sequence of snapshots in time, uh, which have been taken at a predefined rhythm, which is essentially how a frame-based vision system works. Uh, I will program the camera to acquire a snapshot of the scene at 25 frames per second or 50 frames per second per se. So this is one second in time at 10 FPS for us to be able to understand more clearly. So what we can see here is that something could happen before the first frame or between the frames. The thing is with frame-based vision is that it was invented by humans for human consumption. It's basically cinema vision in a way. Uh, we feel that this is not really appropriate to capture motion uh, and that there is a more efficient way to do it. The main flow of frame-based vision is that it's frame-based in a way. So there is a clock that is predefined. In between these frames, there is nothing. So machines, most of the time, are actually blind. In between the frames, they need to rerun algorithms to make sense of the scene and understand if the object has moved from one frame to the next. Whereas us, as you can see here, with even based vision, we don't lose track of what we've been tracking. There is no frame rate uh, per se. So for the first time, we're able to reveal to machines the invisible between the frames. Uh, a core application, an example of this, this kind of uh, application would be autonomous driving. So in autonomous driving, what you want is to be able to understand the scene as fast as possible. Uh, as of right now, you would take a first frame and then run some algorithms on it to put a bounding box around an the object, then there is a gap. Then there is a next frame, and then a gap, and then a next frame, and then a gap, and then a the next frame. You would need all of that to actually fully understand the dynamics of the scene. If this is a car, if it is moving, if it's moving in the right direction, if there is a risk of impact. Whereas us, all of that we could compute and understand within just the first few milliseconds of the scene. For more information, visit prophecy.ai.